while we um, we know what the White House is saying about these uh, gun provisions, or at least the um, the press secretary, let's talk to President Obama specifically about what really is going on here with these gun provisions, because I know they sound to you and I like they're just straightforward uh, enhancing uh, laws that already exist or using uh, the government's ability to influence the market by the amount of guns that they purchase or adding more uh, essentially cops to the beat. But I imagine that uh, the truth is much darker. Uh, good to be with you, Sam. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Uh, look. Uh, look, here's what we're doing with regard to uh, guns. We're, mm -hmm. we're imposing a series of uh, uh, sensible measures that everyone can uh, get behind. Greater uh, scrutiny, background checks, greater accountability on the system. I, I think that there's no reason why reasonable people across the divide can't all agree with this. Psych? <laughs> I'm sorry, psych? Uh, psych? You hear that beautiful music in the background, Sam? I do. You hear that gorgeous call to prayer mm -hmm. of my faith, the Islamic faith, the one and truly only faith of God, the one and truly only faith of Allah? Here's what I'm really doing with the guns. Yeah. White people, I'm about to take all your guns. I'm coming for you. The fruit of Islam is ready. We're locked and loaded and ready to bear, baby. <laughs> no more guns. White people are going to have to pray to the only true and living God, the black God of Allah. And bow ties for everybody. You ready for this? Oh, so everybody's got to wear bow ties. And are you saying that um, basically you're outlying guns, but just for white people? Just for white people. See, that's what people got it twisted. Remember I said I respect gun laws? I'm going to over-respect gun laws when it comes to black people. I see what you're saying. Yeah, there's tiered systems. Arabs and black people get a lot of guns. Iranian people get the most guns because Iran, obviously, favorite right. country of the world. Uh, Hispanic people are sort of in the middle, so they'll get some uh, and then there's a tier system within the Hispanic. Mexicans, more guns. Puerto Ricans, more guns. Cubans, less guns. <laughs> Fuck them. Uh, white people, you don't want to make a grand total of how many guns you get? Uh, yeah. Zero. Zero guns. You got nothing. <laughs> For white people. All it's right. just the, the greatest joy of my life to watch those pale, disgusting, pasty faces fall into complete and utter desolate sadness as I take away not only their guns, but their culture and their hopes and dreams. I hate the white man. He's of the devil. He was made in a cave in the worst parts of Europe, produced from the lowest forms of humanity, and I'm so glad to bring him back to his proper state, enslaved to now, the black man. Now, hold on for one second. Well, on. No, stop, stop the music. Let me just Don't ask stop this. that me, music. Hold, I'm hold, president, hold, baby. Hold on. What? Let me All just right. ask. Can you really do that via executive action? Uh, I can do that via uh, super Islamo action, which is something you don't even know about. I didn't realize that. I didn't know that. Every time I division. make a public signing statement, there is a secret Quran on the podium. Oh. And that is Allah's law, which supersedes our law. I mean, really, to be honest with you, it's really Iranian law. <laughs> Full on Iranian law, right? Yeah, you know, the irony is, is that Donald Trump's right. We did negotiate a bad deal with the Iranians from your perspective. I see. From my perspective, it's fantastic. So basically, uh, part of that the whole nuke thing was that we now follow Iranian law. Where's Salman Rushdie at? <laughs> Someone needs to get, <laughs> Someone needs to pay the price for blasphemy around here. All right, let's final see. year, psych. <laughs> Just getting started. Sultan up in these, baby. Okay, well, we're all right. Head well, to well the Akbar. Yes, well, thank you. I appreciate that. No more guns. There you go. No more mayo.